Hi everybody and thank you for watching. So here is a Rite Aid haul for this week. So I do have three transactions here to show you. Um, to be honest, it is best to wait till the end of the week to do some Rite Aid shopping. But with these specific items, I knew that by the end of the week, it's going to be, um, there's going to be nothing in my, in my store. So I thought I'd go and do three transactions, but more than likely I'll do most of my other transactions come Thursday, Friday. Basically, we, um, this week, at Rite Aid, we do have a booster coupon of spend 50 get 10. There is four unique barcodes. There's one on their circular, one on an email, one on their website, and one on their social media. Check out Real Deals or Ravi Patel. They did post them all on their community tab. At the same time, we do have a 5 for 25 black and white coupon that we've been using for the last month. And then in an email, we got a second 5 for 25 coupon so you can stack those two with the booster coupon and you're basically getting ten dollars off straight away as well as ten dollars back so that's twenty dollars in, in in essence off fifty dollars which is an amazing deal there um also what when i said uh wait till the end of the week come thursday friday and saturday there is an amazing deal with rite aid that uh basically you're getting 10 times your points so right now every time you spend uh money before any coupons we do earn a bonus points bonus cash points and usually you can redeem those so for every uh thousand points you're getting uh two dollars back i believe so it's almost like you're getting two percent back um come thursday friday saturday you're getting 10 times the points so you're actually gonna it's going to be more of a money maker. If I waited till Thursday to do all these deals, I would have got um, probably like ten dollars more back in bonus cash points that I convert that I can convert to bonus cash. So basically, um, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday is going to be amazing at Rite Aid. I do plan to go to the store on Thursday morning and try and see what I can pick up and max out uh, most of the the barcodes and also see if I can get as many bonus cash points as I can. That will make it even more of a money maker, which is amazing. This uh, These three transactions right now are a huge money maker in itself. Um, so I will go over each of them and let you know the deals, the breakdown, and then how much I paid. Okay, so let's go over the first transaction that I have. So what I did was I picked up a three of the CoverGirl. So this is an amazing deal. It's on the front of the ad. So the CoverGirl is uh, buy two, get five, or buy three, get 10. Um, so I did pick up three of them. They are $4.69 each. So three of them, basically they're 69 cents each after the $4 coupon that we have. And then you're getting $10 back. So huge money maker there on the CoverGirl. And they also help towards um, getting to your spend 50. So I did do that deal. Um, I will let you know. So it says on the ad that it's a limit of two. So I did do it again on the same card and I did not get the bonus cash. So it, it is a limit of one. So I think there's a typo there with that one. So I did pick up three of those and then I did pick up uh, the Charmin. So the Charmin and the Tide, they're on a promotion that if you spend $30, you get $10 back. The limit is two. So you can go in there and spend $60 and get $20 back. Um, I do have bonus cash challenges for these, which is why I did these deals. Okay, so what I did was I picked up one of the Shaman. They are $15.99. I have a bonus cash challenge, so by me picking this one up, I got an extra $3.30 back. And then with the Tide, they are $12.99. Uh, we do have uh, $3 load to cards on these ones, so I did use a $3 load on the Liquid and a $3 load on the Tide Pods. And so when you're using those 5 or 25 coupons, you do have to factor that in to your transaction. Um, and so those are the only items that I picked up on this transaction, so I will show you my receipt on this one. So over here you do have uh, the cover girl there there's one two and three i used uh, one of the five or 25 here and then there's a the second one so with this transaction it came to like 56 dollars and four cents which is why i was able to use the two three dollar load to cards so i had to factor those in on top of uh, spending 50 and getting 10 dollars off there is the shaman there's the tide pods and then the tide liquid so all up, I spent $31.84. I got $30 back. I got a $10 for the email barcode, 
I got ten dollars for the Procter and Gamble, and then it says here, uh, basically it says buy two get five or buy additional one and get five. So I got ten dollars back there on the Cover Girl. So I got thirty dollars back, and then on top of that, um, I do have a tie bonus cash challenge, and so with those two, I'm basically. Um, I'm almost at the final tier. There's only one tier on that one. I it, With my next transaction, I would have completed it. But basically, I got two of the Tide. And I will get $9 back in bonus cash um, after I complete that tier. I just put it in this breakdown here. So basically, it is $31.84. I got $30 back in bonus cash. As well as I'm going to get uh, $12.30 back in bonus cash challenges. That makes that a $10.46 moneymaker. So I thought that was an amazing deal. Um, I did earn a five, uh, 560 points, which is equivalent of a dollar. Like I said, if you're going to wait till Thursday, I would have got, um, instead of a dollar back, I would have got $10 back, which would make even an amazing moneymaker in itself. But um, honestly, I know that my soul will be completely out of these. And then um, I might as well pick them up now. And it's still a $10 moneymaker. Okay, so the next transaction, what I did was I picked up one more Tide Pod and one more Tide liquid that way i am getting to the spend 30 get 10 so if you see down here on the bottom of this one i have 11.97 tracking so i just needed to spend another 20 dollars more to get another 10 dollars back so that's what i did i picked up one tide liquid and one tide pods and then also on this transaction i picked up the colgate colgate is an amazing deal as well so they are 3.99 each buy two get seven dollars back the limit is two so picking up four of them comes to 15.96 i had one dollar coupons so that brought it down to 11.96 I got $14 back, which is amazing. And then I also have a Colgate bonus cash challenge. So I hit my tier two, I think. So I got $5.20 back there. So really good deal there on the Colgate. Okay, and then the last items I picked up on this transaction is the CoverGirl. So I picked up two more uh, because I thought it was a limit of two and I was hoping I'd get another $5 back. So I got $10 back here. I was hoping to do the deal again and get another $5 back here. I did not get that one. So like I said, the Colgate, even though it says a limit two on the ad, it's a limit of one. So I basically didn't get anything for that, but it was a really good filler to get to my $50. So that's it. So I got one Tide Pods, one Tide Liquid, four of the Colgate, and then two of the CoverGirl. So over here, you've got the two cover girls. So you can see here that there's one $4 coupon that did not scan. She doesn't know, I think it must've got stuck between all of the coupons. So she just gave me a post coupon of $4. Um, there's a Tide Pods. I use a $3 coupon that I printed from the PNG Good Everyday website. There's my five of 25. There's a Thai liquid with a $3 coupon for the PG website, and then my other five of 25. There are all my Colgate, so one, two, three, four, and then all of my $1 coupons. Okay, so after tax, or including tax, it came to $30.73. If she scanned that $4 coupon, that would have been $26.73. I got uh, $34 back. I got uh, 7 each for the Colgate. I got 10 for the social barcode and then 10 for the Procter & Gamble. So this worked out to be a really good deal. Okay, so it is $30.73. I got $34 back in bonus cash. I also got $4 back in cash because she forgot to scan that coupon. And then I did get $5.20 back from Colgate on my bonus cash challenge. So for all that, it worked out to be a $12.47 moneymaker. So I thought that was an amazing deal, as, as just as it is. Of course, if I did this on Thursday, I would have got a lot of bonus cash points. But that's okay. I'm happy that I picked that up and it was a moneymaker. Okay. And then the last deal I did, um, I did it on my other card. And so what I did was, I'll just move this over. So these were on one card. And then this is all on my transaction here. So what I did was I picked up the Colgate again. So this is a separate card for this. The Colgate is a limit of two. So this is my other card. I got the four Colgate, that's like 1596. I got the three Cover Girls 
and then I did the Duracell deal. So the Duracell, they're on promotion for buy one, get one 50% off, and then buy two and get $10 back. Um, do check out your store to f see if you can find some of the coin ones. The coins are double dipping on another monthly deal that if you buy two, you get three. Um, I didn't find any in my store. I just picked these ones up, but I thought it was I still a pretty good deal because these are $6.99 each. Buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm basically paying, um, what, $10.48 and getting $10 back. That's a really good filler there to get to the $50. Okay, so that's all I did on this transaction. So I got the four Duracell, I got the three CoverGirl, and then the four Colgate. So over here you have uh, the CoverGirl there, all three of those. There's my Colgate, one, two, three, four, and then there's the Duracell battery. So they are $6.99, buy one, get 50% off, and then I did use two of the 5 of 25 coupons. So altogether, it came to $28.17, and I got $54 back amazing that's already in itself a 25 dollar and 83 cent money maker so huge deal there on the duracell batteries if these were the coin ones i would have gotten an extra six dollars so amazing deal there at rite aid that one is the hot deal of uh, the week i guess that is a really amazing money maker same with the cover girl and the colgate so if you can just do this transaction you're already making anywhere from 25 to 30 dollars in money at um at Rite Aid, and then if you're going to do it on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday, you're going to get the bonus points, and it will be a huge money maker there. So this week at Rite Aid is amazing. It is on fire. I've only got three transactions here. I do plan to go back and do five more transactions. I do have two cards, so basically I can do up to eight transactions per week, so four on each card with the four barcodes, and then, um, yeah, with the extra bonus on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with the uh, bonus uh, points, it is going to be on fire. So this is the week for you to go to Rite Aid and really um, buy what you can, buy what you need, and you're basically going to earn a lot of money in, you're going to earn a lot of Rite Aid money this week. Um, at the same time, I wanted to say that this week is the end of the May monthly deals. So if you have any monthly deals that you haven't finished off, this week is the week to do it. Um, so I've done quite a few of them. Um, I still need to do like the Yardley, I think, on my other card and maybe the Highland on my other card. There's also that five hour energy drink that is a monthly deal as well as the Method. So all of those monthly deals that you haven't finished off, this week is the best time to do it. And then if you want to wait till Thursday to do a lot of these deals, that way you're getting the extra bonus points. It's going to be on fire. Okay, so that's basically it. That is my Rite Aid haul. So for all of this, it would have cost, let's say, about $160. After all coupons, bonus cash, bonus cash points, it all worked out to be a $48 moneymaker. So huge. Um, I've, I haven't had a moneymaker this high in a long time at Rite Aid. Uh, and I'm going to keep on saying this. If I did this on Thursday, if this, if this was all in stock on Thursday and I did this with the bonus cash uh, points that I would have earned, that would have been an additional um, almost $30, I think it is. Uh, uh that which is amazing so yeah this is a fire week at rite aid so do uh, if you want to you can wait till thursday ask your stores when they're restocking my stores restock on thursday nights so i do plan to go either um, friday morning or my other store they restock on wednesday nights so it is good that they're restocking later in the week for this week because of this amazing deal that's happening so i do hope to try and do as many deals as i can this week and hopefully i can have a video for you up earlier like maybe friday or thursday and show you the other transactions that i'm gonna do okay so that is my ride aid haul thank you for joining me <laughs>